Okay, great. We got the game. My goodness, I was worried for a moment there. I just had black screen, and I didn't know if uh, if I was going to be okay. Apparently, I do. Now the problem is my mouse is missing. Okay, things are kicking in. <laughs> They're making me a little nervous. The things are kicking in. By the way, welcome everybody. I appreciate that you are here with me tonight. I see Porkin has uh, given me a rebroadcast. Thank you, sir. And thank you also to the two or three others of you that did as well. I had the stuff all in lining up in chat. I was like, I wanted to thank all everybody who's given me a rebroadcast tonight. And then lo and behold, I refreshed it and and lost it all. So if you've given me a rebroadcast, I'm sorry I didn't mention you by name, but I definitely appreciate it. I'm sorry that I did not specifically say so. But I do have Porkins one right here in front of me. As always, uh, please do me a favor. Give me a... Um, hey, Libro. Huh? Same to you, I guess. Uh, give me feedback on the sound. I want to make sure this stuff is properly balanced. You should be able to hear me comfortably over the game. But also hear the game. It needs to be in there because there's... There's a lot to this game that will freak you out as it will freak me out as I play. So, that's the deal. I'm going to play the Subnautica again tonight. Again, uh, I started I started the journey. I didn't get very far into it. This is kind of day two of the thing. I have uh, put together my first little submarine. I, I played maybe like an hour or two outside of, um, outside of streaming this. So, we're not far different, the stream, and what you guys saw. Apparently, you know, if you guys were paying any attention to it. Port, same to you. Thank you very much for the uh, the rebroadcast. Host. Appreciate all you guys for being here. For some reason, I think I'm using the new Streamlabs OBS, and it, it seems to be a little bit behind on, like, reporting stuff. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But just looking in chat, I see that uh, Parkin is here. Of course, Electrical Skateboard is with me. Commander Root, uh, welcome to you as well. Appreciate you guys being here. And, and of course, Lieb and whoever else is watching on but i haven't uh have, hasn't said any, anything in chat yet and that it's also not uh, re reporting we'll get it figured out again uh, give me some feedback on the sound if you don't mind let me know that everything is good on your end um i want to make sure that you guys can hear and know what's going on oh you have a girlfriend now i want to spend my whole free time with her <laughs> yes absolutely understandable i do not blame you even one bit Don't blame you. Not at all. Loading in this game takes forever. Just heads up. We can listen to this epic uh, theme song in the meanwhile. Good, I'm glad. I appreciate it. Thanks, Borkin. How was your week uh, turning out so far? Everything good? I uh, have the next this week and next week decently free. Usually when my kids are here and they tend to be here a lot in the summer, um, they're they're on summer, they're off school, they want to stay up late. They do. They're rowdy. They're crazy. And so what that means is a lot of times it backs up into my stream time. So my apologies to those of you who have been missing me and have been wanting to, to hang out with me and have not seen me. I've just been kind of busy with my kiddos lately. Uh, but they are with their mother now the next couple weeks. So as a result, I'll probably be streaming quite a bit. There's some mixture between this and SWOTOR, I think. I'll make I'll try to make sure that it's uh, balanced. We'll see. So, Polkin, are you telling me that you're out now? You're gonna you're gonna head out? Is that the uh, the deal? If it is, I'm cool with it. I uh, I expect that you will be busy. Right. I think I can make a laser cutter. I don't have a laser cutter, do I? That's what I'm checking for right here. I need a laser cutter. I got a repair tool. I got a beacon I can make. A survival a battery a power cell you're right i don't have that so laser cutter are definitely a bit of shape here tools i can make a laser cutter hey star hulk how are you everything going great certainly hope so the laser cutter can't even tell you happy that it's me 
Right, so. I wanted to make a couple beacons. I don't know if I have enough for beacons, but I managed to find out where they stash diamond in this game, so that makes me happy there. Also need to make sure I drink water before I go back out. I probably need to make a bunch of waters. So we'll do that here in a second. I want to make sure I get some... A couple three beacons. I want to have them in my inventory because what a beacon is, you deploy it when you're out there and it stays in that spot. Basically just acts as a marker so that you can navigate back to it. There's a couple of things that I want to go back, back for. Keep the diamonds here. Good luck. Together. Keep them all together. I suppose I can take titanium out of here. Gold. Gold. Gold and silver. Pretty hot. Temperature wise. So one good thing that you need to do when you are out here, especially at night, is make sure you look around before you uh, go get busy. Sometimes you can get jumped by something nasty, and it is uh, quite terrifying. I just want to keep this stuff together. I have uh, put a couple more. First. Put a lot of gold and silver in this one here. Silver ore. How about diamonds, too? That is an expensive box. I value. Lithium. Good too. Lithium and lead. We'll keep in one. Popper on me. That looks good. All right. Radio. How about I get some for water first? This fish right here is a bladder fish. Need to find a few more of them. Again, one of the things I love about this game is uh, the luminescent, uh, bioluminescence at night. It's fantastic. Hey, Oso, what's up, my friend? This is uh, Subnautica. It is the freakiest game. This game scares me more than stuff like uh, like uh, Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Because it is so... You're always on edge because you never know when you're going to get jumped by a monster in this. And the monsters are terrifying in this. Good, three of them. This will be the fourth right here. You kind of get into a rhythm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these, these are one of the first nasties. Will come a kamikaze fish, and if I'm gonna get attacked, I'm gonna take this. They spawn in caves. Sulfur. I'm gonna take your sulfur if you're gonna pop on me. You kind of get used to getting attacked, though. If you want to do any more games, it's only sad. I have the one. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of like that, too, Starhawker. I, uh, I tend to play one single game very extensively. And it's very rare for me to uh, play anything else, for the most part. I mean, you know, I'm a... I'm a Swotor person for the most part. But lately I've been experiencing a bit of a, a fatigue with Swotor. I've been wanting to... So I'm taking a bit of a break. It's not a not a big deal. And it's not exactly a, I will not play Swotor in either break. It's just kind of a... Uh, well, let me... Uh, find out what there is. The, I came across this game and really this game excited the part of me that really wants to... To explore. Salt. Salt. Decent water. Not just crap water, but decent water. Where are my... 
I think I have a locker for salt. Salt. Where I keep all my saltiness. <laughs> Thanks, Kid Lee. Appreciate you, my friend. How's everything going with you? How was your stream tonight? I suspect if you are here with uh, 12, 12 raiders, or followers at least. Probably had a, a decent... Where on earth is it? Oh, one SSD. Oh, I see. So, Starhawk, that means that you're having to pick, um, obviously limited space. I get it. I understand. All right. Let's see what I was trying to care. Bleach. Make some bleach. Bleach I can then turn into decent water. Like, disinfected water, which is not going to give me some kind of a a disease but I can also make the filtered water which will give me a disease second life scroll to Lotro and Wildstar on yeah no kidding I suspect it's probably kind of full because those are all uh, a lot of uh, assets and also it says this reminds me of No Man's Sky interesting not a game I've played Have some water some water available because right now i need to drink some of this stuff badly it's it's a survival game um so i'm having to maintain levels of uh, hydration i'm having to maintain um what is eating i don't want to be too hungry i don't want to die of hunger so that's one i also need to make sure that i am maintaining my health this uh, little thing is cool here because it constantly manufactures those ongoing basis. So I just kind of collect a few. Keeps my health up. Uh, I need to have a protein bar of some kind. But I had some in here. Inside. Salt to make stuff when I come back. We'll Copper we'll put in there as well. Fiber mesh. Waters. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Warning. Life Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hey, Lieb, how are you doing? Welcome. Or is it, there would be a giant Sakari. No, 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 no. I am sparing you the giant Sakari head this time. Maintain my pizza levels indeed, I agree. Fortunately, it's morning. Uh, one of the things that you can do is turn off the day-night cycle in this. But where's the fun in that? It's the... I just thought it was morning because I'm here in the headlamps of my... Uh... But it'll be morning soon. I think it is getting to be morning. Good. I'm alright with that. Uh, at least I can see. It's terrifying when you just look and there's just water. Uh. High value, salt, titanium. I thought I had. Miscellaneous, this is just where I keep everything. Weird block, we'll transfer that. Eat it when it matters. Okay. These guys can be jerks. Alright, so I am looking for, now that it's a day, we can probably go out and do a little bit of exploring. If you can kind of sting these guys, you can't kill anything for the most part in this game, like besides stuff that you're going to eat. Um, you can just sting those guys, they leave you alone for a while. Welcome aboard, Captain. Aerodastra, welcome to you. Passionately Casual is, is rebroadcasting. Re Thank you to my friends and my uh, fellow Passionately Casual people, Admiral Jesdia slash Nila. 
Thank you guys, I, I do appreciate it. Rebroadcasts. Welcome all you guys, I don't know who all is with me, but uh, j sure, jump into chat if you can, say hello. Alright, so I explored two, there's one thing I want to do here, before we go anywhere. Turn on this one. He will join us or die, master. Sleep type pupper has joined us. Hey, welcome for the uh, welcome to you. Appreciate the uh, get the follow. Italy, welcome to chat, my friend. Part seventeen. All right, so this game is what's called biomes. Um, it's pretty much a biome is like a like an ecosystem in an immediate area, essentially the way that this game sees it. By the way, that thunk sound that you're going to hear from time to time is uh, is things hitting my little uh, little immersible here. It manufactures oxygen, so as long as I'm in it, I can breathe. And it only goes to 200... ...200 feet down. This is the Jelly Shroom Caves, I think. This is a very scary place to be for me because I've not been down here yet. What I'm gonna I'm gonna do is go up a bit. <laughs> I'm just trying to mark it for now. I'm scared. I'm scared to death right here. Uh, tear my thing up, please. That is a sand shark. Whoa. Okay. Those things are biters. Biters like to bite me and everything else around them as well. I'm going to deploy one of these. These are markers. Because I want to come back to the spot at some point here soon. Jelly Shroom Caves! Right, oh, it's, it's a cave, actually. And then, what? Now I should be able to back away from it. And that marker is deployed. And I'll be able to see that anywhere I am in the world. And since I've looked at this, I no longer have to bother with having that life pod. Okay. Then we got. That's, that was this one. Life pod sunk, sunk to the ocean bed. This one's going to be one I need to check at. It's in the map. That's pretty stinking deep. And it's quite far away. So we're going to do some journey. Anyway, so the idea with this game is that there are biomes. We were just in a different biome now. This, of course, is a different biome. This is the kelp forest biome. And there's some expectations that you can have of the kind of things that you can find in biomes. Typically those, those guys, little crocodile guys, are found in this kind of biome, in a kelp forest kind of place. This is a different biome, of course. The, the, more the, the shallows. These things are uh, essentially harmless, but if you freak them out, they squirt some kind of like a, like a acid, and it hurts if you get into it. I don't know, kid. We could lead you to try to say a, a word, and one got blocked. By the way, welcome to Magic Ace. Welcome to Mox. Mox, I see you here. Welcome, my friend. Hope all is good with you guys. Raz Rax, my goodness, it's a big night. Everybody's everybody's showing up. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Most likely to watch me fail, but uh, I won't talk too much about that right now. This game, generally I have a feeling of fear <laughs> as I play this game. Interesting. Oh, I know where I'm going. That doesn't hurt the pod, does it? We are coming up on the crashed ship, I think.
or we're within range of it, yeah. That's how I got to this planet. This is an alien planet. It is it is a planet that I am uh, I'm foreign to, but it's a survival game. So what happens is that your ship crashes on it. it. Turns out it's a water world. Those things that you're hearing are are the Leviathans, the reefback Leviathans. I'm getting hurt being out here. I need to have my helmet on. Okay. This is not going to do any good for me to be here. I'm getting damaged. Where's my... I need to wear my helmet. My radiation helmet. I have an oxygen rebreather thing right now. But I see my life is going down. So I better, better take that into account. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to go to the ship and uh, and actually pick up a uh, some things from it. Right now, I'm just trying to explore whatever uh, pieces of like wreckage I can that will give me um, pieces or or schematics or things that I can I can build that will help my uh, journey down here. Obviously, I just have my first vehicle now, so that's a good thing. These right there. I'm getting hungry, so we'll that, and we're getting thirsty. Don't want to drop it. That. No. All right, let's try that again. Where were we going? Not should really shroom. We were on this. So yeah, as I was saying, coming this way the first time, it's a general sense of fear that I have uh, playing this game because you're on edge. I think that's kind of what all of the survival games try to do to you. They love to scare you. One of the things that scares the fire out of me is when it just starts getting deeper like this. It's just, it just gets deeper. There are monsters in the deep. One of the things I want to be sure that I'm doing is exploring sites of wreckage like this. So you have a scanning utility. Blueprint out of that. He glides already had. That's right here. Then it's got titanium. I can find titanium anywhere. Craft trap, same thing. We're here for the sea glide stuff. Sea glide is one of those um, pieces that you. It's one of those those things that scuba divers use that they pull it out and then follow. It, it kind of hang onto it and it does a swimming for you. Well, I can th I think to salvage out of this spot. This is a reefback uh, leviathan, the big gigantic fish in this game they call leviathans. Obviously it's a reefback because it's a back, so they're really cool. Few leviathan classes in this game, they are, all of the rest of them are, are devastatingly awful. Alright, uh, Marks, have a good night my friend, thanks for dropping by. 
This thing only has a depth of about 200 meters. After that, it starts to get crushed by the pressure. Let's check this. I can find some pieces I can use. Also have to make sure nothing terrible finds me because it will find you. I have a scanner. In. Shadows. The shadows are terrifying. Especially when it's something that you know is, is awful. And then you look up and there it is on top of you. I think all I can do. He thought Sakari was using his hands. I'm always holding the orb of power. I can never let the orb go, or else my power will be uh, drained. And we do not want that. Chunk of wreckage here. The cool thing is that the, the sub is a, is a submersible, but it's... Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. In a room already have. Now. Cutter already have. Trash can. But you can leave the uh, the pod. Oh my goodness. What was it that just took a bite of me? Didn't hurt me too badly, but it scared just scared me. I think it was one of those biter fish. So William Stone play games um other people's minds. Thirty seconds. I suppose that could be a, a, a fulfilling gaming career if you would, would wanted to. By the way, William Stone, welcome to you. I appreciate uh, you dropping by. Um, what is that in my hand? It is the Orb of Power. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Infected. But I can't help it. I'm going to get infected regardless. We're getting deeper. And some of these depths scare me. Okay, this is the mushroom forest. I like the mushroom forest. This is another biome. It's kind of cool. Mostly harmless down here, actually. Um, these things. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Don't really hurt anybody. I don't think they do. Jelly Ray. Come here. I want to scan you. I'm not trying to hurt you. I want to know if you're trying to hurt me, so scanning is about the best way we can that out it's inedible okay it's a the biomass in this area is dominated by plant life picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures good vehicle signatures is
it's it's what comes into view in the darkness underwater and these aren't just like earth fish earth fish are creepy enough like alien fish are terrifying And this is too deep for me to explore it's life part 12 at least right now because i'm already almost at the sub's maximum range but you can see we're over someplace that's positively frightening down I've got to go up all right I think I'm going to I'm going to make a dive but there is is the cave you're fulfilling your destiny that thing scared me Libroha Discord server invite. Okay, yes. Um, remind me before, by the time we're done. And several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. So. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Yeah, you think? Okay, so um, Libroha, remind me when we get this done to add you to the Discord server. I don't have it going on right now. I'm gonna make some tweaks on that as well. Thank you for you for uh, claiming that. Please wish me luck. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save before I do this. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Volcanic activity. Propulsion cannon. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Propulsion cannon. Usually it's the propulsion cannon that I'm used to having. Repulsion cannon. Nice percussive force to entities in range. I need a pro propulsion cannon for that. There's nothing I can do right now. Yeah. Alright, and that is a. It's the first time I've been in this biome. New biomes that I've not been in scare me. Just in case anybody's wondering. Hey, since it's good to have you here, my friend. How's everything going? I am I am scared of this game. I can't even tell you. Frightened I am. Look, I mean, just look at it. Just keeps getting deeper. We're already at 200 meters below the surface. I can't even see the surface. We're so far down, and it just keeps getting deeper. That's a bone shark. I don't know what that was. It just hit me. Let's go back to the uh, go back to the forest. See if I can find some resources there. Mushroom forest. I'm probably going to deploy a marker. Mushroom forest. Am I scared of it? Then why do I play it? Probably half of this uh, interest here is the rush. See, I feel safer here. <laughs> I feel a lot safer here. When you can, when there's some visibility in the water around you, you tend to feel a lot safer in this game. 
Okay, so I'm going to deploy. a different different name for it but there's a whole wiki on this game and yeah actually you can spoil it for yourself if you go checking things out but uh i don't necessarily know if there's anything i can gather here right off it's good bridge Bridge fragment. That is okay with me. A bridge fragment. I got the engine fragment earlier. Okay. Cyclops is a vehicle that you'll get later on in this. Um, a submersible as well, but it is... Uh, it's like a big heavy submarine. It can go a lot deeper than... If I found that here, I'm going to hang around for a while. Something else that might be helpful. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because it's fun. Thank you, Kid Lee. Lee know, uh, knows what I'm talking about. And granted, Lee, you you play more games than I do. Like you, you're more of a, a like a, a wider variety gamer than I am. Moon pool, yes, that's a good. Uh, so there's a base you can build underwater. Two of those, great. Um, and it's really cool. Like you can have your whole uh, whole underwater home, uh, home. And it's one of the aspects of this game I'm really looking forward to. Bad feeling podcast. Hey, uh, Brian, I appreciate the, uh, the host, my friend. Creature egg. I don't want those just yet. Mess with that later on. Got some place to put them, but right now they're just going to take up inventory space. Um, it, you can basically with creature eggs, you can have your own aquariums and can hatch them and stuff. That's pretty cool. That's part of your uh, base, though. And I will mess with that when I have the room to carry all that stuff. But right now, I don't want to. Right now I'm just going to pick up these gather nodes. And since I'm finding Cyclops bridge fragments, I'm going to look for that. Down here. I have ventured too far this direction. But when the biome starts changing, I'll probably, uh, probably head back the other direction. I think those shocker, shocker fish aren't uh, going to hurt me. I don't think they're interested in hunting a player down. I scanned you. Okay, I think I have scanned. I'm gonna give it a thorough look before I move on because at least then I know what is here. Cyclops bridge fragments make me make me happy. Free space.
Gold is good uh, for its uh, connectivity. It's used mostly as an electrical uh, component, like a wiring component. Make omelet. Oh my goodness. There we go, that's the rest. Once I have three of these, I have the schematic. What all there is to make of the Cyclops. Go get some uh, oxygen while I look. Hungry too. Be okay for now. Cyclops. Two of three ingredients known. That's going to be great when I can... F well, it's probably going to take materials I don't have for now, but... Moonpool, if I can get the, that, that in the multi-purpose room, we can start base building. Actually, we can start base building just with a... Uh... Just with a multi-purpose room. But I need the schematics for that. Titanium, I have a bunch of, and you can find that anywhere. I'm not going to pick that up. Space here. This looks interesting. Cyclops hull fragment, yes. One of three. So I just need two of those, and then I, I have the schematic for the Cyclops. <laughs> that makes and because I found it here, I'm probably going to keep searching this area until I find it. Because I also feel safe here, and I don't feel like I want to... Okay, that's nothing. These things are... Vicious little monsters. I hate those. They, they shoot barbs at you that actually kind of suck. So I'm actually going to stay down here where I can searching. So the moon pool is basically a, uh, it's like an underground, uh, underwater uh, um, docking station for, for submersibles such as this. Sure, use two more uh, Cyclops hull fragments. Hook me up with those, because this has been a good spot to look for things. Already have the scanner room, so I'm not going to pick that up. Star Wars underwater, yeah, no kidding. 
Um, no, this is not Star Wars Underwater. This is Sub uh, Nautica, but I think you already actually knew that. Different bio. This bio. Okay, so. And it's becoming night, so stuff is getting freaky. Some fish are attracted to light. So, you'll get so annoyed by some of them sometimes. They, uh, this is pretty cool. Little underwater formation here. Sharks coming up here. Bone sharks, they call those. But we stay away from them because they, they're one of those that are attracted to light and they can actually hurt the submersion. And here we are at Freaky Town. It's this biome that scares me that I, I, uh. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Stay where it's shallow. Another thing is like if you crash into things, you can break your submersible. So I'd be kind of careful. I would like to find some health fragments. I'm so lucky for a minute there. Anything kills me. I can get out and actually repair the damage using some of the power from my repair tool. Eventually, you consume it though, so you have to build another one. Interesting. Alien vent. There are some very deep things. That's probably a way to find it. One of the ways to get down there. Get around. So I know that it's going to be close to that. Come back and explore that later when it's more uh, pertinent. Igor Oddvark, thank you very much for the rebroadcast, my friend. For the, uh, the host. <laughs> Don't hurt my sub. Please, not in the dark. Don't mind if you do it in the light because then I don't mind so much. Been there. There's nothing. I'm doing more of a wide sweep across the ground. Mostly because I already searched the cliff sides and there may be something there now, I don't know. There was in this area that we found that other piece. Oh, the rest of it's... Schematics usually don't fall very far from each other.
care about it. Salvage. <laughs> You're afraid to play it alone, that's exactly right. Ladies and gentle beings, Arisea plays this game as well. Right opposite, like right that way. <laughs> She's as scared of this as I am. And it's kind of fun every now and then to hear her yip. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I already have bridge fragments. Need bridge fragments. All frame. Apparently this cliff face is lucky for me though. I'm not finding anything else out around here. Afraid, afraid of the ocean. I'm also afraid of the ocean in real life. That's what freaks me out about this game is that there are terrible things in our ocean. Can you imagine going to some alien world and finding it's terrible things? It can, there's no good that can come of this. And I have seen some of the footage of this game where there people bump into some of the nastiest things. Like whatever that was. And then you've got to go out in it. That's the... have to... I thought there was a different... Why was it that even hit me there? Salt. Thank goodness it's day. That's a pod. This is pod four, I believe. Here soon. Integrating new PDA data. Pendragos, thank you, my friend. Welcome tonight to you. So the thing with this ship is, if you go too far that way, there's a monster that will destroy you. <laughs> Just got home. Hey, welcome, Pendrakos. I uh, hope your uh, week is uh, going great, that your evening is going great. Libro has been missing you. It's full. Full of like gold and diamonds and all kinds of good things. So I've got a lot. Titanium you can find everywhere, so usually I drop titanium in favor of some of the other stuff. I searched a little lower along this cliff face the first time I came through. Searching it.
bridge fragment. That's what I'm looking for on the fragment. Oh, fragment. Oh, please, with us for a second. It's not a good place for this stuff if I if I need to come back here. Here's my submersible. I don't need to get to see that is what I'm scared of yeah that right there is a, re a reaper leviathan if they find you they grab you with those pincher things and just and kind of shake you to bits and there's no way I'm going that direction right now I have some reinforcements but another thing I don't want to do is turn my back on him up this way. Away from him. Basically make our way back to the uh, pod. Surprise me. Watching like carefully. Yeah, inventory is full, so I'm being careful now. At this stage, it's really probably time to get back because I'm starting to Welcome run out of. Board, Captain. I'm starting to get hungry. My character, at least, I'm kind of pushing the exploration. But I'll go back that direction now. Got to be around a sand shark. Sand sharks make it a little bit complicated. It's infected water. Or why not? They tend to do, uh, be bottom dwellers. They'll attack you if you get. Um, if you're kind of within range, but they're not hard, you just kind of back away from them. That's what I need, the propulsion cannon. Make entry unlock. Two of those. That is a piece I really need. It's a tool that will help me to be able to get in and explore the uh, ship. I knew there were pieces for it around here somewhere. this anything usually leave or something or other yeah Libroja likes to leave us for things like church Her time is all backwards. And stuff. Well, we're hanging out. She's doing things like that. She's on the wrong side of the world. We're getting lucky. Propulsion cannon, yes. Fantastic. 
have that blueprint. Okay, let's get out of here. I slept the hunt. getting that feeling myself. The thing is, after a while, you get to where you know the map. You know what's where. You know where to go. But the problem is, with every new game you play of this, they give you a new scenario. So you kind of get to know your world that you're in, but if you start a new one, you have no idea where you are. You know what to expect where. Ah, I knew it. Somebody was going to hit me at stupid fish. Titanium. Put all these. We gotta go hunting fast. These will do. There's a fishing. It's fishing, I suppose, right? Come on, peeper. Oh, Peeper, these guys run away. How dare they? Let me eat you. Seek fluid intake. And I'm thirsty. My character's like, I'm dying. You're not taking care of me. <laughs> no, right? Actually, I've got something better than a net coming. So, like, stay put. It's cooked is fine. Cooked is food. And I have fluid, so I'm good there. So I think we're gonna be okay on the, the physical needs of this character. Here momentarily. Dad, eat this, Vital eat this. Stabilizing. Order. We're good on all of those. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. Order the air no bubble. bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. <laughs> we're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Cool. Uh, yeah, Starhawk, and no, I'm not going to make you watch me starve to death, but it's... I was pushing it there for sure, like like more than I probably should have. Keep one of those on me at all times. But we got... I came back with some really good resources, so that's why I was, like, pushing uh, being out there. Let's see, I suppose what I could do it's here. I think I have a box for the lithium. Copy here. I have a box for the gold. Probably need to make another one. Okay. So what I needed to make was here in the tools, it was one of these. So I need a battery, I need a, p a piece of titanium, and I need a wiring kit. I don't think I have a battery. Those, they're easy to make though. Copper. Titanium in there somewhere. Yeah, 
I think I needed a wiring kit, right? Uh, let's see here. Tools. I did need a wiring kit, which is great because I got the silver for that. A wiring kit. A battery. And I think I need a, tit or a block of titanium too, which I have. So now I can make this. Good tool to have. I thought I made the, got the repulsion kit too. If you have, and this is going to be the challenging thing, is if you have the... I need the multi-purpose room badly. I need two more hull blueprints, and then I've got the Cyclops, which is fantastic. That means I can start doing some deep sea diving. Crap. Two of them. I need to do a lot more like wide exploration to find some of these... Pulsion. It's right here. Pulsion cannon. Because of force. That's All right, so I have what I need. Uh, we are going to go make a terrifying run here and momentarily at the uh, base. It's boxed stuff. titanium box it's trying to keep I want to keep all this stuff but I want to just get it off my off my character right now what I want to take with me are the tools for an excursion like this oh so, I have a laser cutter. I have a pulsion cannon. Flashlight, a scanner, and a survival knife. They can make another scanner. Battery in time. It's gonna run out of me. I think we'll be okay for now, but it's gonna run out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. I don't know how confident I feel about this, but this makes me... Anything worth anything here. I've already ransacked this place before. Pretty rate. to stop especially if I see ship parts because that's half the reason I'm here let's 
try to see if I can get that Cyclops built. Multi-purpose room so I can start building underground bases. That's part of it as well. That's not metal junk, though. Is it? It's just... I'm sort of salvaging some titanium in a hurry here in a minute, but for now... Try to stay on task. <laughs> He's, I said as I got distracted. Bullshit. Battery, nice. Craft up. of my submersible to be good just in case I get attacked. Because we're coming up on that nasty. That nasty is nasty. Jerk. At least it's okay. <laughs> Bullshit cannon. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, look at it. And I don't want to run into that Leviathan either, because I know he's lurking around here somewhere. One time he caught me by surprise, and I'm still devastated about that. Looking to see if this ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration. Fire suppression equipment. Don't your own risk. It's the one thing I don't have, dang it. I've got to have fire extinguishers. We're going to have to come back here. What a waste of time that was. I need a couple like fire extinguishers because there's fires that you have to get over, get around on the inside of that thing.
It's not as scary on the surface. It's scary underneath, though. power on this thing pretty soon, in which case I have to replace its power cell. Yeah, if you ever get attacked by that uh, gigantic leviathan that hangs out in the front of the thing, like you're <laughs> speeding away as fast as you can. Little wee 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 Please don't eat me. I have another power cell and I have a spare battery and that makes me happy there. What did I need to grab? Fire extinguisher. Get two of these. Take to make another one. Three titanium. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. The data bank. Nutrition bars somewhere. We're gonna get a bunch of them here, like in the Aurora, so we'll see. Here we go again. Welcome aboard, Captain. You have them now, that's all right, okay. Okay, so this is right when, uh, what, what is one that we are Getting to know pretty well. I kind of like it when it's day. Well, I'm going due east. Straight to this.
good collection of junk out of you. I'm gonna have to remember to come back this way forward to pick it up. There are these crabby things. It's like a disc with four legs. They're they're they, they jump on you and attack you. They're more annoying than anything else, but they can't scare the fire out of you. So there's a good chance I will be jumping here in a moment. Keep an eye out for that Leviathan. Don't get anywhere near me. Half the challenge now is finding the door. way. Where on earth is the... Do I need to come at this from another angle? I am so frightened right now. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I appreciate the the cheer, scaring the fire out of me right at the right time. No, always appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. There's a door here somewhere, and I'm just trying to... I don't know where it is. I might have to go out and come back in, hopefully in a spot where it's... Maybe that's what I need to try. Mainly I'm worried about getting eaten by the gigantic stinking. If I even smell him, I'm going to be backing up. Looks promising. It's very promising. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Look at those little nasty things. at me, bro. That don't hurt too much. But man, they, they're frightening. That's all. <coughs> Where are you? Surely the third one will get you. You should be dead after the third one.
Hopefully. Oh. Have all of these most mostly dead. If not all dead. Okay, you can hang out in there if you want, but just don't move. See, you moved. Jerk. So what you're paying, what you're saying was that you scared me on purpose. <laughs> you meant to do that. I wouldn't even care about these guys except that they scare me. Is all. When you're not expecting it. Pounce on you. All right. More of them up here. And that one was diseased, and that got me. If you keep moving, you can be okay. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That these things eat people. Specifically me. That's more what I'm worried about. I think there's a door along here somewhere. The last time I kind of dabbled with this game... There's a door that I found, and that was where I needed to go. I'm finding it now. You guys want to go? You want to go? I wish there was a way to like light them all on fire. Because they make searching this tough. I'm not finding. Anything here. Like an entrance. I don't know if it's just I've gone to the wrong spot. Out there. <laughs> Leap. Welcome aboard, Captain. You think that's funny, but getting eaten is a real possibility in this game. Maybe this is it. Here's hoping. Another thing is that the the yeah, there it is. Okay, great. I found it. I don't even need to eat fight with all these things, but they're everywhere here. They are gonna kill me.
disc. So this is what we're here for. This is a repair tool, and I'm gonna. Purpose there. Integrating new PDA data. Six four eight three for the lab. stuff. Integrating new PDA data. What's worrying me right now is oxygen. Oxygen is worrying me. We got some hunger issues and some. Okay, we got a counter here. Be nice for the decorations for when we're making a. Place open. Just go in a circle here. Spot. us up today pulling a plug out of a socket oh my goodness are you okay is there any charred flesh we should be aware of integrating new pda data This is like the ultimate wreck diving experience, right? Okay, so we came in there, we came up here. Okay. Like wreck diving in, in a radiation leaking um, pipes thing. This is like incredibly scary. Okay. I don't think anything useful right here. Except up here where we have the prawn suit. Which 
we're going to need here uh, sometime pretty soon. This is basically uh, um, a submersible as well, but it's... You're basically on foot, but um, it'll allow you to, like, stay on foot and... Um, breathe underwater and be able to do different things, so that's going to be cool. It'll, it will be uh, very useful in a lot of the uh, submerged cave environments that we're going to be going to pretty soon. At some point, I don't know if it's going to be soon. This will be 4 of 4, I believe, right? Prawn suit. It's probably ridiculous and crazy to build. Diamond lead and enamel glass already have. Plus steel I can make pretty easily, I think. Aerogel is only problem. How to make aerogel. self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. And no adverse effects right now. Bunch of food in this place, which is good. Water. The water's good. Pick up all the water I can. Scan a bar table. Just a sore butt from landing on it. Check out. Man chair. A lot of good schematics for when later on when we actually are having to uh, calm poster, keep calm. Cool. All right. Single wall shelf. Today's menu. Integrating new PDA data. Useless information. <gasps> Nothing oh. useful. There. Nothing useful in this room besides what we've already picked up. Single bed. It is all irradiated, but what we're doing here, um, Starhawk, is picking up the blueprint. the blueprint so that I can go basically build them myself. Because one of the things is that um, you get the bl blueprints all the way. That's what you use to craft. You know, we want to live in comfort well. <gasps> cool as it brawls, suits in Mark Three Air. Uh, the pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is. A range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The Mark III. Dive. Cool. Integrating new PDA. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? 
I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? Your business I model. am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Huh? Fair enough. Apparently they don't get along. Integrating new PDA data. Terra Arms. Stuff we can read later. A battery. Happy to have those. Those are means I don't have to craft them. Need posters that we can take, because those are gonna be cool when we hang them later. Nothing else we can scan. Just in here. Right. I mean, radio message, but I can't do that until I have a radio. Really? Did I put that out for nothing? There's nothing I can do right here. No, I could have avoided that whole thing. I think we got everything in here. We came from here, we got everything to the right. Is full. Now you will experience the full power Black of and the white. dark side. Thanks for the sub, my friend. And how fitting that, that it's you experiencing the full power of the dark side. How have you been, bud? Microscope, non-functional. No wonder I can't. Non-functional laboratory equipment. Sample analog. Some junk on me. Junk out of here. Junk. All this is. There's nothing in these. How are you doing, my friend? Everything great? By the way, Dura, I see you hanging out there as well. Welcome, my friend. Sorry, it's it's been a bit. I haven't checked the uh, checked like I should. People watching. Uh, this, I believe, is a captain cabin one, right? Cabin one. Eighteen sixteen. Full shells. He scanner don't die on me. 
Near blueprint acquired. Near blueprint acquired. Responsible autonomous relationships. All the good things are life and commodities. New PDA data. Trade love just like we owe us as a love guide. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model. <laughs> and ask whether it's performing competitively. There is always room for improvement. That's hilarious. Talk about business model. Don't kill me. Please. Orders. Uh, twenty six seventy nine. PDA data. Neptune rocket blueprints. Cool. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. That's where we are right now. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really. Offline. Environmental data, please respond with a rescue solution. Interesting. So, apparently they survived. Somebody survived. The captain survived. The crash. Huh? Asked for help. And they sent him blueprints for a rocket. Which I now have, which is probably my ticket off this planet. New cap. Interesting. I wonder if it's wearable. Incompatible, incompatible, incompatible with protective environment suits. Uh. Well, that that's something we can put on as we leave. Small enough for one slot. I'm to him I'm ransacking everything I can in this place. Cuz I don't want to come back here. Now the trick is getting out of here. I think this is all there is to do here. Come up here. Look this place over, all of the, the different compartments. Already been in there. This is the mess hall we've been in there. A little safer with the knife. that action good thing is we have the uh anything and that stuff scares me okay nothing down here these are all just boxes for the dick 
decor, I believe. I got in here somehow. How did I get out of this? Right there. Is this it? This looks like it. Yay. Okay. So. Anything else? I feel so much better with the light. Papers floating in the water. Can we look at this. Okay. Cut open to X. Come around here. Next is all this. May just survive this experience. I, mean, I can climb out of the water here. This fire is growing back. Let's not forget to save. This is important. Okay. And it's day when we get out. It's not creepy night. That's good. No arguments. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're gonna run out of juice here soon on this thing, but that's okay. I've got another power cell. I'm hauling some good stuff out of here too. That was a good run. Battery in there. Totally coming back here for some of the salvage. I think I missed a data pad, really? Well, we aren't going back now. I'm glad I'm out of there. vending machine. Nice. No, 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 no. I know that sound. Kamikaze awful things. Scare me to no end. If I see a wreck, I stop. Usually, is I need to. Usually, there's like when you have chunks of debris, like this is where you get the best schematics. 
schematics is what I need right now. Like, I still need some uh, Cyclops schematics. For the prawn suit, I'll be in good shape. Same stuff, but I'm... okay. Continue on our way. Yeah, definitely. Compared to Swotor, um, not that there's much you can compare to survival games are very different. But one of the things I do like about the survival game type of genre, and especially this one, because it does it in such a unique way, is that um, they are very much all about the, like an explore, exploration envi uh, environment. Which is, I've, I have complained about a lot with SWOTOR, especially in some of the podcasting that I do, is that I miss the, uh, I miss exploration. Exploration is one of the things I really liked about the planet in Swotor. And since they've stopped doing planets, and now they've started doing more and more... Uh, they did that, then they did dailies areas, which are, I guess, planet minis, you know, but you can get to another area easily enough. Then they reduce it from uh, the planets all the way down to... Um, pretty much flashpoints. Flashpoints is the only exploration area you get now. They talk about, hey, we have Umbara for you to look at. It's a whole new planet. It's really cool. Come to Umbara. Come to Kapero. Come to all these things. So you come to them and it's just really a flashpoint. You play through a, fla through a flashpoint. That's your the extent of your exploration on that planet. And it's not even exploration because flashpoints are very much on rails. Um, so that's been one of... Yeah, open world is essentially the idea. This is all open world here. And the cool thing is, like I said earlier, if you start another game of this, the map is entirely different to the map that you're on now. So you have to explore every... Like, exploration is what you have to do on this. And I miss open world exploration. It's one of the it's one of the things I enjoy as a gamer. It's probably the highest on my list is exploration. So that for me has been for a long time kind of what has bothered me about SWOTOR is that we're seeing less and less exploration such good such good loot out of that um, but we're seeing uh, more and more uh, um, like where things are put on rails essentially it's kind of like space um, the whole the whole early space rails um, missions I don't know if you guys remember those that's essentially what, what SWOTOR has become now, the entire game. And so I, I'm cool with it, you know, that's fine. But what happens is that I find the need for exploration starts to die a bit in me. And I'm like, okay, like I need to go out and... So that's why, I mean, I played, picked this up and, the, and I found myself addicted within like a, a couple days. I was like, okay, goodness. Me. That, that taught me something about myself is that I need more of a... Uh, more of something to do like this so um i need to mix this in I, I, i'm not remotely interested in dropping swotor but i want to make sure that i uh um at least i'm mixing uh, you know something else in there as well which i'm a streamer so might as well stream we're it. approaching the planet now we have a landing site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives we've sent you the coordinates It'll All take right. us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Deployables. you the prawn suits on here now so this is something i made it's it's how you craft vehicles cyclops ingredients i know but i'm actually really close to having the whole thing here prawn suit air gel i have enamel glass i have lead and i have diamond 
Aerogel, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find Aerogel. I'm going to have to probably make it out of something. Plus steel. You can make... Let's see where... Steel. It's here. Titanium and lithium. So I have enough for that as well. So I have everything... For the prawn suit, basically, except the aerogel. Going to wiki this. So, um, here on the wiki, it says that Aerogel is a light forest gel. In which a liquid component of a gel has been replaced with a gas. This results in material substance uh, with incredible heat insulations and advanced material crafted with a fabricated gel sacks. Rubies are needed for the oh, rubies. Where am I supposed to find rubies? I better start deep diving. Rubies and gel sack. I would get gel sacks, and that's the place I wasn't enjoying going a little. Rubies, I don't know. I would get gel sacks though. It ain't gonna be pretty. All right, so we're wasting time right now. I'm gonna save. I'm going to jump out because right now the aurora uh, or the sunbeams arrival is going to be imminent. And I want to make sure that I stream the whole Sunbeam thing because there's some critical pieces with the story for that. That's as far as I've been in the game is kind of seeing to what happens with the Sunbeam. I want you guys to see it. So, um, okay, so Sniper's already out on us. Sniper, if you're still here and are leaving, uh, see you later, my friend. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Tomorrow we have some passionately casual recording, so we're going to be doing that live. Uh, those of you who want to join us, be sure to join us uh, at uh, twitch.tv slash passionatelycasual. Um, I don't know if Jess is going to be in this episode or not, but I know I'm going to be. And sometimes we miss each other. So, um, But anyway, that'll be tomorrow, I believe, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to, or Central Daylight Time, I think is what it is. Uh, join us for that um, at twitch.tv slash passionatelycasual. Maybe Passionately Casual Podcast. I can't remember. But... Um, definitely go ahead and join us for that. We'll have it going. Um, after that, I don't know if I will have the energy to, to, to stream or anything afterwards. But I'm not going to stream any far, further in this game. Well, I'm not going to play any further in this game without also streaming. So I'm going to try, if I can, to stream it tomorrow night. Just depends on my energy level after the podcast. So that's going to be the plan. And yes, I have to. Like, I'm, it's, it's time for bed for me. Some of us have work in the morning, Lieb for not dying a horrible death. Yes, thank you, Star. I tried really hard not to die a horrible death, so. And Purple Phoenix, by the way, I'm sorry I missed that you're, uh, that you'd rebroadcast me. Thank you very much for the, uh, um, for the host. Okay, so, um, for the most part, that is it for me for the night. I know, like, everyone is used to, you know, been in my SWOTOR uh, community is like, what are you doing playing this game? I, I know. I'm, I'm picking a page out of Kid Lee's book and I'm doing something that Kid Lee would but uh, wider but anyway um, as we call this thing Dura has been hanging out with me thank you very much Dura for hanging out in the shadows there uh, black and white as well Commander Root you've been with me all night thank you very much I appreciate your presence electrical longboard electrical skateboard thank you two slash one I can't tell Libero Oha of course Pendrakos has been with me RJR75 Sniper uh, has been here Starhawk as well and then Lone Ranger 2016 thank all of you guys uh, for hanging out with me Hope that you guys have a great evening, get good sleep, uh, have a great day tomorrow. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow or not. If I do, it's probably going to be a little bit later, like closer to 11 uh, central time than 10. 
because a lot of times we stream you know we do the, the recording eight o'clock to like nine or, although i think passionately casual a lot of times goes over that so it may be 9 30 before we're done and then if i'm streaming at 10 it's just there's just no time in between so what i may do is probably start tomorrow at 11 if i do if i don't it'll be the the next night so if you want just look in this channel um look at my announcements i'll make sure to communicate what i do uh, so people can join me if they want and thank you Lieb. i appreciate the uh the, uh, reminder on that i will get off of this i'll stop streaming and that'll be the very first thing i do get you invited now i just want to set your expectations though i've got a lot of tweaking i need to do so some of the permissions are a little weird um like you'll be able, you'll get on there and you'll see like hey i can't see the previous um the history of communication in this channel there isn't one uh, not yet but uh just just a heads up um yes black and white if you want to know about my discord uh, check out my uh, I think there's a panel down below for this but check out my uh, my Shikari store there's a store now associated with my uh, but it's not for actual real world cash it's for um, Sith uh, artifacts which is a currency now that you accumulate instead of credits we're doing a Sith artifact and yes Pen hasn't gotten permissions yet it's some of the ones that he should have because I'm also, I haven't been able to work on it. I've been so busy this summer so far, so. But that is coming soon. Sorry, apologies. I'll get on it. Guys, have a great night. Uh, like, again, I've explained all the plans. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely, though, join me uh, passionately casual 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time. We'll, uh, we'll make it happen then. See you later.